All right, Borderlands 3 Hot Fixes, December 5th, 2019. Today, we will release a Hot Fix for Borderlands 3, which will be live on all platforms by 3 p.m. Pacific time. Remember this, it will be live on all platforms by 3 p.m. I get this every single time. They said it'll be live at 3 p.m. No, it's by 3 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, guys? Dresses various issues reported by the community. Hot fixes are applied at the main menu. You should see a sign in the background when they have been applied. If you are experiencing any issues and want to provide positive feedback, please submit a ticket. They didn't say positive, but I added that myself. Please submit a, a ticket to support.2k.com. If you're having any kind of issues with the game at all right here, that is what you want to go to, guys, all right? I, you know, I love that you guys tag me and everything on Twitter, but this will just save you some time. Just report your problems there. With this hot fix, the Bloody Harvest event is fading from Borderlands 3. Aww. As the event ends, you will no longer see haunted enemies. Yay! Travel to heck or be able to complete the Bloody Harvest challenges until the spooky season returns next year. Thank you to everybody for the great feedback, your enjoyment, and the amazing spooky shots taken with photo mode in heck. We're taking what we've seen and heard from this event and are exploring how to apply these learnings to the next one. That is good to hear right there. That means that they are listening and they are going to probably, in almost all certainty, they are probably going to be like, you know what? I think that we're probably not going to make everybody have to participate in this. Let's hope, right? All right, so on to the actual changes. Address the reported issue where loot was sometimes falling into an unreachable area in Slaughter Star. I've seen that happen a lot, so thank you for that. Address the reported issue where the movement speed bonus with Amara's passive ability mindfulness when buffed with spiritual driver class mod was sometimes extremely high. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mindfulness was designed with the intent that reaching maximum stacks was not easily achievable, so the bonus per grade was high. We want players to take advantage of moves, move speed, but not to the extent where parts of the game may not function correctly. Oh, crap. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, addressed a reported issue with the Spiritual Driver class mod where it was sometimes awarding damage for all types of damage and not just gun damage. All right, I got the Spiritual Driver on. I'm still running fast as hell. <laughs> All right. So reports of its demise have been greatly exaggerated as well, it would seem. <laughs> All right. This is Mayhem 4. Hang tight. Let me uh, get some actual shots on this dude. Yep. We're still good. Amara is still good. <laughs> Amara is still fine, everybody. <laughs> All right, decreased pet audio so Flax Jabber would be less vocal. That's unfortunate. I really like the Jabber being vocal. Uh, Zane's passive ability, Death Follows Close, fails to bring correct bonus to several kill skills after unlocking this ability in the skills menu. Wait, what? <laughs> that didn't sound like a fix. That just sounded like you were telling us something. Zane's passive ability, Death Follows Close, fails to bring correct bonus to several kill skills after unlocking this ability in the skills menu. Uh, address the reported issue, okay, uh, where Zane's passive ability nerves to steel would sometimes lose functionality after fast traveling. Uh, fix typos on desperate measures and stainless steel bear skills. Fix multiple spots where players were sometimes able to escape the map in Skywell 27. Um, fix multiple spots where players would sometimes get stuck in Ambermire. Oh crap, I'm in Ambermire right now. Should I? Should be scared. Fix various areas in Septic Sluice and Green Diamond Platform that allowed players to reach unintended areas. Uh oh. Well, you know, that's that's one of the things that we like to do. We like to explore. Fixed various areas on Pandora that sometimes allowed players to escape the map. Okay. Fix the reported issue where some players could not hear the flaming skulls from Billy the Anointed. Fix the reported issue where brick sledgehammer sometimes continue to spin after being thrown at an enemy during the mission hammerlocked. Make that sound like it's a bad thing. Hotfixes generally address smaller things while patches contain code that must go through a lengthier patch process. The next patch will be coming later this month and will contain the first DLC, Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot. It will also address reported concerns that we have seen in the last patch, including Guardian Rank and additional vending machines in Skywell 27. That's good. This uh, Skywell 27, if you guys don't know, has one vending machine and it's right at the beginning. <laughs> so that's not great. Uh, Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot will be available to all players on uh, December 19th who have purchased the Season Pass or Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition. 
At the end of the month, look forward to spending the new year with Malawan in Borderlands 3. In a time-limited event, the takedown at Malawan Black Site will be scaled depending on the number of players in your party. You'll be able to play solo or with a party of any size to score all that sweet takedown loot. So apparently they've heard you guys loud and clear and uh, they know that they need to address some of that stuff. So good fixes. Um, I'm, I'm, interested, I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Uh, you know, <laughs> this, this could be bad for those, uh, speedy Amara builds, but then again, if she takes damage from enemies, uh, then it should proc, uh, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. So, uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you could take a second, hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. I cover all the hot fixes, all the patches, all the updates. So if you want to hear that stuff, make sure you follow the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.